Hi everyone, I'm Jim and welcome to the review of Around the Four, the second studio album by the band Deftones. Today we're celebrating the 25th anniversary of the record, so I've decided to go back and see if it still holds up or not. I've been a massive fan of this band for over 20 years. My first memory of Deftones is actually listening to this album in my sister's room back in like 2001. Later she gave me their first album Adrenaline on a cassette tape and I've also enjoyed it. As usual the producer for this record is Terry Date, the most frequent collaborator with Deftones. And as you can see here on Wikipedia we have four music genres for some reason. Alt metal, nope. Post hardcore, nope. Alt rock, nope. This album is pure nu metal, same as the previous one. Later on White Pony, Deftones evolved adding more elements of shoegaze, dream pop and alternative metal to their stuff. A lot of people love Deftones and they hate nu metal, so they say Deftones is not a nu metal band. But you cannot change history, the first two Deftones albums are just pure nu metal. The production is tight, it sounds very punchy but clean at the same time. Message is diverse, the songs are mostly about troubles in a relationship, drugs, sex, marriage problems, stuff like that. Let me just remind you that at this point Deftones is a four-piece band, which means Chino on vocals, Steven on guitars, Chi Cheng on bass and Ape on the drums. Structure of the songs is pretty basic, nothing special. Just intro, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus. Sometimes it's a little different like on the third track called Mascara. The album's opener, My Own Summer, SHOVE IT, SHOVE IT, SHOVE IT, yeah! is probably one of the most recognizable Defton songs. It was released as a single and has a music video. Apparently the song was written already back in 1994. I am not sure if that information is correct. But if it's true, it's actually interesting. Why wouldn't they put it on Adrenaline? The instrumental here is just pure nu metal banger. I love the guitar riffs. The bass is beautiful. Ape is killing it on the drums. And Chino's vocals are very beautiful, especially the screams. To me, this song is a classic and I remember watching the music video back when I was a kid. I'm pretty sure most of you also learned this song on guitar. I think I released a guitar cover two years ago with my friend. I might leave a link in the description of this video, so you can check that out. Anyways, a legendary song, 11 out of 10. The second song continues that nu metal vibe, especially in the verses. I love Chino's whispering here. The instrumental work, as usual, is phenomenal. I love the guitars, the bass, the drums, everything. The atmosphere of this track, especially the chorus is my favorite part. 11 out of 10. Also, I forgot to mention what the songs were about. My Own Summer is about Chino's hatred towards summer and people, basically. The second track is apparently about using drugs. Mascara is a song about Chino's wife. He played her some of the Deftones music in the car and she did not enjoy it, like, at all. That made him mad. This seems to me like a toxic relationship because, in a stable one, both sides support the other in every endeavor and when there's just indifference, you know, I would just leave. But this video is not about me. Anyways, the instrumenter here is actually the worst one from all of them on this record. The vocals are also not that great to be honest. My favorite part of this song is the final minute of it. You could call it a bridge. I love that section. That guitar riff sounds very depressing and dark. Back when I was a kid, I didn't understand English, so I would imagine this song is about a person being buried alive. I don't know why, that was just my mind when I was like 5 or 6. 9 out of 10. Around the globe... <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry Steven. Around the 4 is a song about basically vain people that just care about looks and nothing else. I like the message of this track because I agree with it. People like that are almost always empty inside and worthless. The highlight of this song is Ape's drumming for me and some of the guitar riffs, which are very nice. The bass, as usual, amazing. 
Chino's vocals are on fire. 10 out of 10. Rickets is a song about people who tell you how to live your life. They basically always whine and complain that you're always doing things wrong. It's fucking annoying. It's a song that I most relate to when it comes to this record. It's also one of the heavier bangers here. It reminds me of the previous album, very nu metalish. My favorite part here is that atmospheric guitar riff after the third verse. You know when Chinos is just breathing and it sounds like he's underwater or some shit. And the heaviness of the track is just great. I love every second of this song. 11 out of 10, Be Quiet and Drive Far Away is the second single from this record and it has also a music video. This is the most iconic song from this band, everyone knows it and everyone loves it. The song is basically about going somewhere with your friends or maybe running away from relationships. I actually don't care because the instrumental is just so good. The main guitar riff is very captivating and melodic. It will always stay in your head. 12 out of 10. Timeless masterpiece. Lotion is my favorite Deftones song. Its lyrics are very cryptic. No one knows about who Chino is singing. Nowadays he's saying he sang about other nu metal bands. To be honest, I don't even think he knows what he sang about on the first couple of albums because he was just so drunk. You can interpret this song however you like. For me, it's about someone you just hate and they annoy you. And it's not the only reason why I adore this track. The main one is because the vocals are just so emotional and impactful, especially the screams. That final scream, that's like 10 seconds long. I love it. The guitar riff here is the best Deftones guitar riff like ever. The drummer is killing it all the way. 12 out of 10, timeless song. Die the flu was called before the flu. For some reason it got changed, Dai is a part of Chi Cheng's full name, so I guess it's a homage to him or something. The song, yet again, is about a shitty relationship. The main hero of this song is the bass, I just love it. Chi Cheng is skinning it here. The guitar riffs are nice as well, but not as good as on the previous songs. And Chino's vocals just perfect, as usual. So yeah, this one is 10 out of 10. Head Up is a very important song when it comes to the lyrics. It's about Max Cavarera's stepson, Dana, who was killed in a car accident in 1996. He was Chino's best friend, so Chino and Max wrote the song together to honor his memory. The song uses some of the last D-Lo lyrics he ever wrote. D-Lo is Dana's nickname. And as some of you may know, because of this song, we have Soulfly. And Soulfly is one of my all-time favorite bands, like ever. So I'm very glad they made this song. It's the most new metal track on this entire record. It has my favorite vocal parts, especially those <laughs> weird vocals Chino and Max are doing, you know. It sounds like Crow is chucking on some plastic or some shit. It's hilarious. I just love those vocals. The song is very easy on guitar, so you can learn it in like 5 minutes or less. But it has that amazing groove to it. It's simple, but perfect. All of the other instruments are great as well. For me, this is a legendary song. So fly! Fly! Hi! 11 out of 10. MX, as usual, is a song about a relationship. Chino is simping for some woman here. The female vocals here are done by Abe's, the drummer's wife. Now his ex-wife. I really like the hypnotic vibe of this song. The atmosphere is just amazing. You can easily fall asleep to this one, but not because it's boring, it's just that good. I love this track, every second of it is interesting to me, 11 out of 10. And if you wait 90 minutes you get a secret song called Damon or Damon? It's not Matt Damon, right? I remember when I was a kid this was a very frequent occurrence where a nu metal band would hide a song or two after some long period of silence. Korn did that on Follow the Leader, Slipknot did that on their first album. Yet again it's a song about a shitty relationship. 
please remind me to never get any love advice from Chino. Musically, it's similar to the previous tracks, I really like the chorus here. My favorite part of this song is where Chino screams a lot, but I love the singing here as well. Overall, this song sounds very negative, it has that desolate feeling about it, but I truly love it as well. 10 out of 10. To sum it all up, the consistency is stable and the flow is ideal, you're not going to skip any song here. Replayability, hell yeah, it's a legendary album, every song here has its own identity and meaning and sounds very special and atmospheric. It's one of a kind album that you're never going to forget about. Classic nu metal shit, this is where Deftones were on fire. It's sad that they've never tapped this record. White Pony was very disappointing to me and the next ones were just boring. Some of them I liked, like the 2021, I forgot the name, Om or something. But yeah, they've never reached that level of around the four. It's hard to even rate this shit because every song is so special and memorable. Imagine Spotify or Last FM in 2001. I would have like million of streams of this album. We're probably going to hear a new Deftones album in 2024. I cannot wait for it. Maybe I'll be alive to witness it with you guys. Anyways, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in my other reviews. Bye.